Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I know a lot of us are stuck at home or in our towers, so I thought it would be really fun to make one of my favorite treats, peanut butter cookies. This recipe is really simple and I hope you follow along. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. First up, of course, the star of this is peanut butter or any nut butter. You need one cup. Next up, we have two thirds cup of sugar, four tablespoons of applesauce, six tablespoons of all-purpose flour or any flour, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Or, if you don't have baking powder, two-thirds a teaspoon of baking soda will work as well. We're also going to add a pinch of, just a pinch of salt, and we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract just for a little more flavor. Other than that, that's it. Now, in our large mixing bowl, we're going to take our cup of peanut butter and just scoop it on in there. Oh, I love peanut butter, it's so good. Next, we're gonna pour in our two-thirds cup of sugar, six tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, four tablespoons of applesauce. Next, we have two teaspoons of vanilla extract, uh, really rich in the flavor, and just a pinch of salt. Not gonna put in too much because peanut butter is already kind of salty. That's good. And now, super simple, we mix. It's gonna look funny at first, but trust me, just keep mixing it and mixing it and it will become amazing, delicious cookie dough. So now into our separate bowl, we're gonna separate half of this batter. Just spoon it on in there, just like that. And that's a little less than half, but that's okay, because they're gonna get bigger with the chocolate chips. Put in as many as you want. I'm gonna do about that much. I put in originally a one third cup, so this is just a little less. Now that our dough is well combined with our chocolate chips and just as a normal peanut butter, we are going to line and bake these. However, you don't have to do that because this recipe has no dairy and no eggs in it, so it's totally fine to eat as raw dough and it is really, really tasty. All right, so first we're just gonna take a little scoop. They don't need to be big. These do expand in the oven. You're just gonna make a little ball and then we're gonna flatten it out, like how you would make meatballs. And now just press it down gently and then we're gonna add our little fork design. Now that we finished our just peanut butter cookies, we're gonna work on the chocolate peanut butter cookies. However, I don't think I mentioned this, so I'm gonna mention it now. Be sure to line your baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper or wax paper, along with that, just because these do get a little sticky. I use a little bit of non-stick spray. This is canola oil spray, but it can be butter spray, uh, Crisco, any of that stuff will work. We just don't want it to stick because this is a sticky batter. So these, again, you don't need to do very large because they do spread apart. I roll it up in a bowl, same concept, smush it on down. And here's the fun part about chocolate chips. You can add more to the top. Now that we're all done placing and decorating our cookies, it's time to put them in the oven. We're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about eight minutes or uh, 180 degrees Celsius. All right, and boom! Cookies are all done and they look so good. It smells amazing in here. All that's left to do is to try some. Mm. I guess Pascal wants some too. Thank you so much for watching. Have the best day ever.